guys oh whoa whoa hey whoa whoa what was that hey guys welcome back to another video your girl looks different don't she <laughs> i told you guys i wasn't gonna look rough forever what the hell i'm filming with my phone in case the quality is a little different and i'm a little shaky nobody cares okay the thing is that i'm vlogging period and i'm driving too anyways i took milani to go see my co-workers for the very first time like they haven't met her before so now we're driving to a mexican restaurant to go eat and i was like did i forget to vlog <laughs> that is so all i need but i'm here now i'm here now <laughs> milani's at the back she's right there in her car seat so yeah i'm bringing you guys along i'm filming with my phone in case the quality is not as good as my camera but yeah i forgot my camera at home because I was actually running late. So anyways, let's go to a Mexican restaurant, have fun and whatnot. Okay, bye. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for safekeeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out, you stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't hey guys, <laughs> we just got back home and ah, i really loved going out you know just meeting up with my co-workers and having milani meet them and you know just go out to the restaurant have a little fun instead of being cooked up at home all day i really loved it um you can hear her she's like hee 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 i'm about to go give her a bath um you know because we've been out all day and you know she's been touching stuff we were at the restaurant you know she was touching things so just clean her up real good so yeah that's what i'm about to do your girl is looking fire okay fire yeah anyways i can hear her squeak i'm gonna go take care of her now in the way can't be defined by your mistakes you know you try and you try really can you hear her cry um i just finished giving her a bath now i am about to go pump so i'm gonna go feed her and then pump and then start editing the video that you guys see tomorrow so see you guys tomorrow boy That's gross. and i want to take a nap but i want to run down to the mailbox and pick up a mail that i just received an email that it has arrived i've been waiting for it it's something that i got from milani i'm really excited to show it to you guys 
it just reminds me of the fact that my baby is really growing up but anyways i'm gonna go grab it and then i will come set it up with you guys okay let's go i got the package your heart keep it in your pocket all right are you guys ready to see what i got so before i open it right milani is about to turn four months old literally next week she's going to be four months old next week so i plan to start introducing her to food and stuff at six months as i told you guys can you guys actually believe that in about nine weeks i'm going to have a six month old me hey i beg so i'm preparing ahead of time for her that's why i got what i got right now so what i did was i got her a high chair which you know so that when she starts eating she's going to be able to sit down on it and eat her own food bless you boo boo <laughs> so yeah let's set it up together i'm so happy Hello. Say I'm not sensitive, but I can sense a fit right for me. Don't let your head get for some of you who know me, you know that I'm kind of obsessed with wooden stuff. Like I love wooden situations. Like everything about Milani's room is white and wood. So in case you didn't notice. Love it. Love it. Let's do it. Hey, let's do it. Hey. Hey guys, <laughs> I had to take a break from what I was doing because she started crying so hard, so hard. <sighs> this is part of the vlog that I really don't show you guys. Like today has been such a hard day. Like from us, not from me barely sleeping at night because she started screaming for her belly and i had to give her bright water and stayed up all night she has refused to just be chill today like it's so unlike her she has refused to calm down like she starts crying immediately after feeding she refused play time she was crying like she has been crying all day today and i just like i'm so exhausted like i need a break i need a freaking break i'm so tired like my eyes my eyes are like so sleepy like i'm so sleepy i've been pushing trying to do it but god it's exhausting god it's exhausting today has been so exhausting i literally just want to bust into tears like i am so tired man i've um cultivated this culture of not screaming like no matter how bad it gets i like i'm gonna be calm and ask her like what's the problem like how can we resolve the issue you know i don't want to be one of those moms that screams and spanks and heats because i feel like that's not the best way that's how i grew up and i really don't want to raise my child like that yes i'm talking about you it's you i'm talking about it's like go to sleep now usually she she can stay on her swing and go to sleep since all this like what she wants today is for me to like carry her until she falls asleep and guess what immediately i lay her down she will wake up so it's like she wants to me to literally hold her all day and do nothing i put her in her bouncer like i usually do so i can take a shower and immediately i put her in the bouncer she started crying and i i couldn't take a shower so it's six o'clock like it's almost seven seven o'clock and i still have not taken a shower today like because she won't stay stay chill so now i'm literally waiting for her to to go to sleep at night before instead of me to be resting that's when i'm going to be looking to take a shower look at how she's looking at me like she did not do anything looking innocent you're not innocent so now i had to stop putting up the chair and i had to put her in like the baby car so she can like go to sleep or something i tell you guys some days are so hard i am so hungry like all day let me show you guys what i'm trying to eat right now like i'm literally you guys saw what i had for breakfast because i couldn't really i didn't have time to make lunch i just boiled two corn for a breastfeeding mom all days almost seven o'clock that's nothing like it's not holding my belly because everything i'm eating she's eating it and i am so hungry but i can't cook actual food because 
um she's just like clingy clingy and when i try to do something she will just be screaming today i've had too much bread because that's what i have for breakfast but i don't have a choice the quickest thing i can like grab i took two slices of bread and some juice to go and eat she started screaming i left it there let me show you guys are you seeing this this is half bread full bread two loaves of bread and some apple juice that i took to eat now she started screaming i left it see see her bread i cannot even eat two slices of bread in peace hey guys so she finally fell asleep i had to take her for a walk so i just got back i put her in the um the carrier and i went for a walk and she finally fell asleep I'm literally whispering because I feel like if I, if a pin falls on the ground right now, she's going to wake up. But yeah, I'm about to finish putting the um, high chair together and then I'm going to look for something to eat. So let's do that. And then much later when she's like asleep, asleep, I'll go take a shower. But yeah, let's finish this high chair. So I'm gonna give her gripe water and see if that will help. So gripe water is for like gas, fuzziness, belly ache and stuff like that. So let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. You sometimes you fall. Hey guys. So she has fallen asleep but as you guys can see she did before I put her down and she didn't sleep so I don't want to put her down because I feel like she will wake up again but you guys know that I like to be as real as I can be uh, I mostly try to show you guys the positive side of things even though I also show you guys the other side of things but I try my best to keep them very negative parts out just because I don't want to discourage anyone everybody's experience is different um, and every day is different like for the most part she this is very weird even for her she is not a fuzzy baby like she is such a good girl and I feel like some days she's just genuinely struggling maybe she's just going through something or just growing and you know it probably hurts or something I don't know okay but yeah I am pumping my brakes on the high chair. I will finish it tomorrow and I'm just gonna hold her while I look for something to eat. I don't know what that is. I might honestly end up ordering something from outside. My problem with ordering something from outside is that most of them contain things that I can't eat like cheese and milk and stuff and it's so hard to find something to eat. <sighs> but it's been such a hard day. And I really, really try to be positive for you guys. <sighs> if you guys are wondering, that ba those balloons were for Hobby's birthday. They're there because Milani likes to play with them, so I just kept them. I'm very hungry. I have not taken a shower today. It's now 8, 7.50. So it's almost 8 o'clock. I'm not eating, not taking a shower. The high chair that I'm putting together is still on the ground. I'll finish it tomorrow. Seriously, guys. I'm going to take a break. I wanna take a break. I'm done with today. I'm done. <laughs> Sometimes you fall. Good morning! Ha! Clearly, you guys can tell I woke up feeling very energized. Um yeah i got about five hours of sleep and let me tell you something. As horrible as that sounds it's pretty good um and i actually 
the first thing i did when i stood up from bed was to take a shower and i unraveled my hair just because i kind of want to feel good about myself today i need to start putting my life together i just had a baby like nobody say <laughs> you understand nobody cry i commit but yesterday was was hard and we went to bed around 10 o'clock and she woke up every two hours after that but i don't know i feel good about today today hasn't been as fuzzy as yesterday uh when i told my mom what was going on she said that uh milan is probably just going through a developmental phase um and they usually get like that during that time and she said to watch out that i will see that milan will be doing a lot of new things now like you know developmentally she will be like doing lots of new things and it's it's very funny because when my friend uh texted me she was like hey girl how are you doing she genuinely always check up on me and i really appreciate it i began to you know clearly obviously i started ranting i said this had happened that had happened she had a baby a few months before i did so everything that i am going through she, her baby has already gone through it. so when i told her what milani was doing she was like girl when my baby was in was that exact age like he was acting the exact same way so i guess my mom was right so my mom confirmed that it's okay that she's doing that and my friend also confirmed it so um exactly what i thought yesterday actually i think i said it i was saying that i think she's going through some kind of growth stuff but yeah i am being patient with her taking it easy just because like she's going through something just like i'm going through something like i'm going through uh something based on she going through whatever she's going through so it's not like it's her fault and me knowing my child i know that she's not usually like that but some days are hard that being said let me continue putting up the high chair your heart keep it in your pocket for safe keeping don't ever let nobody be the reason voila i finally put the high chair together you guys look at it she's a beauty i love it but in case you guys are wondering this is the joy more adjustable um high chair and they have other colors too but this is the this is my favorite color if you know me you know i like things with wood i like things that are very neutral so that's why i went with this white and gray but you guys i am so excited to start using this for milani in a few weeks i just can't believe that i have a child that is growing up this fast like i can't wait to see her sit down here picking up food and putting it in her mouth ah <laughs> gosh i am so excited and you guys i am going to leave a link to join us website in the description box make sure you go on there and check them out they don't only sell high chair they sell everything you can think about baby kids you know they have other products too that you can check out so you guys know me i would never recommend anything that i don't genuinely like it is very sturdy it is very strong and i really genuinely wanted this i'm going to put the link to their website in the description box so you guys can check them out okay please check them out all right anyways i am hungry and i'm about to make me some sweet potato porridge i tried it once and i absolutely loved it and now i'm gonna do it again because it is fast it is the fastest thing i can think about like it doesn't take time to cook so, let's do that keep it in here You just ate, it's my turn. It's my turn to eat. Parents are also allowed to eat food. <laughs> I didn't even know how much I liked sweet potato porridge until one time I was making yam porridge and my uh, the yam was too small so i added a little bit of 
potatoes and I was like hmm I really like the way it tasted I heard that Twitter made um, Elon Musk so angry that he bought it hey <laughs> so in my head I'm like when am I going to ever get to that point in life where something annoys me so much like social media just vex me Instagram just vex me that I just carry money go buy them ah money is good anybody who says money is the root of all evil eh? I beg I know say Bible talk him, but I don't even know what part of Bible said it but that thing eh it should be changed we human beings we are the root of all evil nobody they do the evil by ourselves like money is good I beg Anybody who say money is the root of all evil, don't 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 have money now. Don't pursue money. Don't work. Stay in your house. I will really try and do some sit down videos for you guys. The next vlog you guys are going to get, I have a really big news to share with you guys in that video. I don't know if you guys remembered in the few vlogs ago, I said that um I was going somewhere. I'm going to tell you guys that in the next vlog. So make sure you watch out for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know that it was a little bit, you know, there was a struggle at some point, but we're okay. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to eat and go attend to that girl because she's already getting cranky. <laughs> mm. And also, don't forget to check the description box for the link to Joy Mo's, um website so you can check this stuff out thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to smash that subscribe button break it destroy it and do whatever you like to say and i will be seeing you in the next one keep it in your pocket for some keeping don't ever let nobody be the reason you throw it out you stop caring about